the 49-day period between Pesach and Shavuos, the time which is getting us ready to be able to stand at the foot of Mount Sinai to once again receive the Torah each and every year, is not a time to just mark it by counting each and every evening. It's a time to be proactive. As Rabbi Tapp speaks about, counting is accounting for. And this is why we count from Pesach rather than toward Shavuot. I've built two days. I've built ten days. The time of Sfira Saomer is a time of work. In what aspect should we be working? In what aspect should I be preparing myself to be able to stand at Mamad Har Sinai at the receiving of the Torah? So our rabbis teach us, Derech Eretz Kadmal Torah. What precedes Torah, what has to be in place before I'm able to be a receptacle to have Torah infiltrate my life, is I need to be a person who is filled with Derech Eretz, with the proper moral conduct. And as our rabbis teach us, that if one first says, let me learn, let me be filled with wisdom, and then I will work on who I am as an individual, all of one's wisdom, or much of one's Torah that one has learned, will not be able to stand. If one gets angry easily, if one is haughty, whatever the negative character traits a person may have, the wisdom, the learning, cannot withstand the pressures of the inner self that can overcome and flood the individual. Derech Eretz Kadmala Torah you want to be able to have Torah affect you. You want to live a Torah lifestyle. First and foremost, one has to be working on, and obviously it's a lifelong process, on who we are as individual. Working on our mitos, working on our character traits. We know that the time of Sfira Saomer is a time to work on the midos shat Torah nicknate by him, on the aspects that one can acquire Torah, which is found in the sixth chapter of Ethics of Our Fathers. And there are 48 ways to acquire Torah. And the Balei Musar explained that the 48 ways parallel 40, the 48 days of the count between Pesach and Shavuos. The 49th day is what we call Chazara, is the review. And some of these things to work on is Shmiya Sa'ozen, the ability to have attentive listening, of Simcha, of joy, of Makir Makoma, of knowing your place, of having a Rebbe. These are different aspects to work on in self to be able to then be able to receive Torah. And it's very interesting that we know that the rabbis point out, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai, in the second chapter of Ethics of Our Father, when he turns to his five major disciples and say, go out and see what is the proper way to be involved with in life. And each student gives a different answer, a good friend, a good eye, one who foresees the outcome. And the final answer of Rabbi Lazar ben Arach is, one who has a lave tov, a good heart. And Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai said, this is the key answer because it's an all-inclusive answer. And the Hasidic Sfarim bring down that the Lev Tov is the key to Sfira Saomer. The Lev is a heart, Tov is good. The good heart, working on, on who I am, preparing the groundwork of what type of person I am, is the Derech Eretz, which precedes the Torah. And it's no accident that the numerical value of Lev, Lamed being 30, Bet being 2 is 32. And the numerical value of Tov, Tet being 9, Vav being 6, Bet being 2, is 17. 39 and 17 equals 49. The Lev Tov com com comprises the entirety of the Sir Saomer period. And it's noted that the first 32 days of Lev is the time to work on one's heart. It's a time to focus in on who we are. It's a time to learn the message and to take to heart 
the message of the death of Rabbi Akiva, students dying, of being able to treat each other with respect, to work on these basic character traits that make me a giving person, that make me a kind person. The first 32 days is working primarily on the mitzvot ben adam l'chaveiro between man and one's fellow man. Then the 33rd day, otherwise known as Lagba Omer, becomes the turning point where I now begin to ascend to the last two-thirds of Sirasa Omer. And I work on, at this time, the Tov. Ki lekartov natati lachem, the goodness that I've given you. Tarasi al tazovu, don't forsake my Torah. The goodness is Torah. The last 17 days is to work on our relationship between man and God, to focus in on the preparations of being able to receive the Torah, the mitzvot ben Adam l'makom, the mitzvot between man and God. And therefore the time of Sfira Sa'omer is a time of hard work. It's not just counting. It's a time to work on who I am, the lave, the heart, my mitos, my character traits. It's a time of appreciating the tov, the goodness the 17 days that allow me to prepare the groundwork, not only my mitos, my character traits, but also in the fundamental aspects of the goodness of my relationship with God. When both are in place between man and man and man and God, I have indeed ascended the 49 rungs between Pesach and Shavuos and can stand proudly at the foot of the mountain on Shavuos to be able to receive the Torah with the rest of the Jewish people.